Good morning. In case you're new to our show, this is our Thursday Acne Live. This is an Acne Live chat, and this is where you can bring all your questions and concerns about keeping your skin clear. We've been working with acne for close to 20 years now, and we've, we've honed it down and turned it into an art. <laughs> That's why we're Art of Skin Care. If you're new here, you don't know who I am, and I am Gina. LeClaire and I'm a licensed esthetician and I'm the founder and CEO of Art of Skin Care and I'm a certified acne specialist through Face Reality. Um, if you um, are new to us here and you're on social media or you're on YouTube, go ahead and look for the link in the description of this video you're watching because you can go and watch it directly live on my website and then you'll be able to add comments and ask questions. If you're commenting and asking questions on YouTube or on um, social media, they won't be live and in the moment like they are when you're on our website so you can really hear from us up close. When you comment later on on YouTube, I do get in there and answer those questions but it's not going to be as one-on-one -on -one as we are right now. So um, when you get on our website, you will also be able to see all the different products that I mentioned. You can um, keep, you can check out those different products just by clicking on them and then my video and I will stay with you and go with you through your whole shopping experience. And you can load things in your cart and all of that. Shop around, check things out, look at ingredients. It's a lot of fun to be able to go on the website and have this um, video experience there. So let's get started today. Today's topic is acids. How do you choose an acid for your condition and the type of acne that you have? So I want to start Oh, and then I'm gonna have some sneaky tips in at the end because every week I've been having people ask me, what do I do? What do I do with teen acne or my, my adolescent uh, preteen is getting breakouts, what do I do? So we'll have a little segment at the end for you moms out there who are wanting some tips and tricks on keeping your teen skin clear. So today let's start off by just doing a quick overview of the acids that we use and then I will share with you why we choose those different acids. So the most popular acid that you probably heard of in regard to acne is salicylic acid. That's the acid that all the drugstores, pharmacies are putting when you go there that's in all their cleansers and everything that is for blemish prone skin. So salicylic acid is a beta hydroxy acid. It is um, an acid that can be used for acne. It's anti-inflammatory. However, it is not the best, um, ac the best acid for acne. So we're going to talk about a few different acids here. So salicylic acid is that acid that I choose if I see a lot of inflammation, redness, if I've got some rosacea mixed in with it, or I have somebody that's just so sensitive that they can't use some of these other acids that I'm gonna to talk to you about today. And sometimes what you'll see we do is that we even mix a little bit. Maybe um, we start off using one acid, then we might layer in some salicylic to bring in some of that anti-inflammatory um, properties to it. So that's our beta acid. Now when the other acid that you guys hear a lot about is glycolic acid. Glycolic acid in the 80s was just raved about. Everybody wanted and loved glycolic acid. Glycolic acid though is kind of an erratic acid. It's not your best choice if you have inflamed acne. However, it is a best choice if you tend to have blackheads or you tend to have um, pebbles under the skin that as they rise up they don't really get inflamed but when they come up they open up and turn into a blackhead that then squeezes out. We call that maturation arrest. Um, our short term for it around Art of Skin Care is pebbles. When you go like this and you see little pebbles all under the skin that is called maturation arrest and we treat that oftentimes with glycolic acid. It's more exfoliating and people who have those things going on need that extra exfoliation. Now there's a little myth going on out there. A lot of people believe that salicylic acid will be good for their blackheads. I have to tell you after 20 years of experience and talking to other very experienced estheticians we find that for the most part salicylic acid 
is drying to blackheads. It actually glues them in so that you can't get them out and it's very frustrating. So unless salicylic acid has been mixed with another acid or mixed with some retinol, when we mix salicylic with some retinol, that can work really well for blackheads, but salicylic on its own tends to just dry those blackheads in. And so if you're blackhead prone, your friend is going to be glycolic acid and perhaps some retinol thrown in there. Now, the other acid that really is our favorite acid, there's two more that I'll mention. One, let's go kind of historically. So we had the salicylic and glycolic. The next acid that came onto the market was lactic acid. We all got very excited about lactic acid, but we use that more in the anti-aging realm because lactic acid is a nice gentle exfoliator and it's an alpha hydroxy, but um, it is not drying. So glycolic acid over time is very drying to the skin. Many aging ladies, we have liked to use glycolic acid in the past because it also causes a swelling of the skin tissues. So it can make your skin look plumper, juicier. The problem is that over time, within a week or two of using that, you're not gonna be plumper and juicier because you're gonna be dehydrated and your skin's gonna be very dry. Let me get a drink of water, I'm talking so much. <coughs> We have allergies in Sacramento. Everything is in bloom, it's crazy. Okay, so <coughs> lactic acid is our more friendly acid for our aging folks, it's gentle. Generally, we don't use lactic acid in our acne treatments because it's not antibacterial, antifungal, or any of those kind of things. Um, I will mention it um, in one of the products I'm talking about today because we have one that mixes the lactic with the salicylic, and that's a pretty nice combination. So we'll talk about that in a little bit. So that's the lactic acid. Um, the next acid that came on the market that just got everyone so excited, and Dr. Fulton developed it, and that is mandelic acid. Now, mandelic acid originally came from almonds. It now is created in the lab, so you don't have to worry about nut allergies or anything like that. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh. Mandelic acid is antibacterial, antifungal, brightening, and it stimulates collagen production. So mandelic acid is getting a lot of rave reviews in the acne community, which is where it started. We got so excited about it with treating acne that we've taken it onto a whole new level. Um, it's also become quite popular in the aging realm. So those of you who are aging concerned and have breakouts, mandelic acid is a perfect acid for you. Um, mandelic acid has to have an L in front of it in order to be effective for treating acne or folliculitis or any of those kind of things. Um, L mandelic will work non-L mandelic, if there's no L in front, it will not work because it's not chirally correct and it won't be antibacterial and antifungal. So look for labels that in the ingredients, Face Reality actually puts an L on their label because they want you to know L mandelic. Um, Bion, Neogenesis, they all use L mandelic acid and we're pretty careful. Um, almost like probably 99% of the products that we carry that have mandelic acid in it have that L in front. And we only use the L mandelic when we are treating blemish prone skin. So the beauty of mandelic acid is that it has that antibacterial function and antifungal. So people who get um, bumps from shaving, whether it's your face or anywhere else on your body, if you get some bumps from shaving or you get um, breakouts around the hairline, anywhere where there's hair follicles, a lot of times that is a follicular kind of acne and there is some fungus involvement in that. So mandelic is really good for treating that kind of acne. For the most part, when we're treating acne, we start and use, rely mainly on mandelic acid. The only time at Arno Skin Care that we pull in glycolic acid is like when I said we're just dealing with blackheads 
or those pebbles underneath the skin. And then the only time we pull in salicylic acid is if we're dealing with rosacea or somebody who, for whatever reason, just can't use mandelic acid. Um, mandelic is always going to be our first choice. So um, those are the basic acids. And the other corrective ingredient that we use quite a bit is vitamin A. So I want to touch a little bit about vitamin A because many people are prescribed retinols for acne or they just think they need a retinol for acne. And so I want to say there's only a very, very narrow slice of the acne community mm -hmm. that needs vitamin A um, before their skin is 100% clear. So those people who do well with vitamin A are the people who have blackheads and the people who just have the little pebbles under the skin. Sometimes you will have a mixture. You'll have those pebbles, the blackheads, and pustular um, breakouts on your face. If you have pustular breakouts, you do not want to use retinol. At least at Art of Skin Care, we don't use retinol because retinol flares it up, makes it worse. It's gonna make you have this purge. When I talk, people talk about, am I gonna purge? Yes, if you're putting retinol on your face, you're probably gonna have a purge. And if you have follicular related acne, that means you have a little folliculitis, you've got that fungus going in there, men who shave, you, if you put retinol on that, it flares it up. That retinol just feeds that fungus. So there's very few cases that we use retinol in the beginning and we're very, very careful about who we use that with. So um, let's talk a little bit about acne, degrees of acne. So at Art of Skin Care, we say if you have 10 blemishes or less, you are a mild to moderate case. And you often don't have to do acne coaching with us to get clear. You can often reach, you can watch these and learn things, these videos. You can reach out to our live chat and our estheticians there are all, even our non-estheticians there are acne certified. So you can get help that way if you have 10 or less, you're that mild category. If you have 10 to 30, you're in what we call a moderate. And if you have 30 and more, you're in severe. And so if you have that moderate or severe kind of acne, I recommend that you don't try and choose these products on your own. You don't try and choose which acids or retinols on your own. I highly recommend that you do our acne coaching. Our acne coaching is not very expensive. It's $85 and that includes four months of coaching. So you're going to get an initial protocol and then you're gonna check in with your acne specialist every two weeks for four months and by that time most people are clear some people actually choose to re-up and pay for another four months of coaching just because they like having that relationship with their acne specialist and that's fine um, many people once they finish that four months if anything um, they get some little breakouts or anything changes or shifts they can choose later on to do acne coaching again or they can just check in through our live chat and our acne specialist them can all up there can often troubleshoot and figure out what's going on that's causing a, a renewed uh, bout of breakouts. But what we find with acne is that, especially if you're that moderate to severe, we've got to keep pushing your skin a little bit. And we're not going to start with the strongest products. Many people, you'll go on here and you'll say, well, I have moderate or severe. I, I'm going to go for that strongest mandelic, or I'm going to get the strongest thing I can get. Don't do that. We always start people on an 8% mandelic and work our way up. You want to have room to work up when you're working with acne. You want to go up in incremental steps and give slow challenges to the skin because if you just hit it with the strongest stuff right off the bat, to be honest, you're just going to piss your skin off and you're going to get more breakouts and then we're going to have nowhere to go. So we start with that smallest amount and then we are medium, moderate amount of strength in our serums and then we just work up incrementally until you are completely clear and I tell you this system works really well we've been doing this exact system now for 15 years and the first five years of our acne journey we were like you guys are out there trial and error try this try that um, but the last 15 years we have really turned it into an art form and here at Auto Skin Care we don't use our acne clients as guinea pigs 
we don't try things on you guys unless we know that they work. Now, sometimes we might try something with you that we know usually works, but everybody's unique. And there might be little tweaks that we have to do along the way. And that's why you have your acne coach because we can see the signs and see what we need to do. Sometimes we layer things a little differently. We have lots of tricks up our sleeve to get you guys clear. And it's really a customized experience. Everybody is different. We've worked with thousands of people, so we have a thousand million different tricks up our sleeves to make a system work for you so that we get all of you guys clear. Um, let's dive in a little bit here just to show you a few of the different acids that we like to use. So when we started off, we talked about, we started with salicylic acid. So um, salicylic acid, it's available at Face Reality, um, in our Face Reality brand. Face Reality requires you guys to have a special login. You have to be an approved <laughs> Face Reality customer. So if you already are, you can get the Face Reality Mandelic, Salicylic, and Acme Med. If you are not, all you have to do is reach out to our live chat and our estheticians there will help you get approved really quickly. But if you don't want to go through that approval process, no problem. We do have some other great products outside the Face Reality brand. So we have Lemieux makes a beta acid. And beta acid, this is your salicylic acid. It comes with a dropper to put in the bottle. This beta acid, they have boosted it with a bit of lactic acid that makes it a little bit stronger. And oftentimes, if we find the Face Reality salicylic acid isn't quite strong enough, sometimes we'll switch you onto this one to just give a little bit more exfoliation. This is a beautiful serum. We also have salicylic available in toner pads, toners, and cleansers. And um, I don't want to go off on too many rabbit trails with you guys, but in general, if you're an adult with acne, we're gonna use the gentler cleansers and toners, and we're gonna use these serums. We get the best results doing that. It's kind of the opposite if you're preteen or younger, then we might pull in a cleanser to start with that has some acid in it. But most of the time, um, with everybody who's older, we're gonna start you guys with a gentle cleanser that's acne safe, a gentle toner, and then we're gonna start you on these more pro strength serums that have real targeted amounts of the acids that we wanna use to treat your acne. So, um, from salicylic acid, we went to glycolic acid. And so a really, you can get glycolic acid in face realities. There's two different strengths. Another a glycolic acid that we like, it's just like Lemieux's beta, but it's called 5% gly glycolic polymer solution. Comes with a little dropper bottle, that, uh, dropper that you can put into the bottle. And this is a nice solution. They call it a peel solution because some people just use it as their once a week pick me up or a couple times a week. However, when we have clients that have that real pebbly stuff going on, we're gonna be using this more often. Glycolic acid is the most exfoliating of all the acids I've talked about here. So it's super important when you're using any kind of glycolic acid that you are using good quality, high quality sunscreen every day. If your skin gets sunburned and you're putting glycolic acid on, your skin's gonna get pissed off and you're gonna get more breakouts. You're not gonna be able to use your acid because your skin's all irritated and everything. So we really wanna keep that barrier of your skin in really good, healthy condition. We wanna keep it well hydrated and well protected from the sun. And then that glycolic acid works really well. Um, I didn't pull them on out here, but as I'm talking, another thing that works really well for those pebbles and for blackheads is from SkinScript, and it's the Glyco Retinol Pads. Those are our number one selling item. <laughs> they just fly out of here, and some people use them once a week. Some people use them daily. A few people who are very oily even use them twice a day. That can be a really nice quick fix for you if you're in that mi mild area of acne. So you've got 10 or less, that could be a great place for you to start is just with the glycolic and retinol pads. So next let's dive into mandelic because um, mandelic is our favorite acid and you can get mandelic acid in four strengths in face reality. There is a 5%. However, um, 
Personally, I don't choose to use 5% very often. I most always start people with 8% and stay there. 5% is going to be for somebody who's just really sensitive and definitely has 10 or less breakouts. 5% is really considered to be more of an anti-aging acid than an acid that's going to treat your acne. So what I find is I start people with that 8%. If that's a little too strong, then we just mix it with your moisturizer for a few weeks and get your skin used to that 8%. However, and I know more, uh, Morgan is moderating today, and she's our number one acne um, coach. She coaches most of you guys out there, and she's been with me a very long time. She started with me right after she got out of high school, and um, now she's a mom and <laughs> all grown up. So Neogenesis Mandelic Acid. I cannot speak highly enough about this acid, and this is the acid that Morgan loves. Neogenesis mandelic acid is pH balanced and in such a way that it is not abrasive to the barrier of your skin. So you're not going to disrupt your barrier, but you're going to get all those good benefits of that mandelic acid. Now occasionally we find that it might take a few weeks longer to get clear because it's a little gentler, but we have less flare-ups, we have less of that purging kind of irritation stuff going on. And so it's quickly become our favorite acid when it comes to mandelics. Now the other, a very nice also, which I didn't grab here, I should have, is Neogenesis makes a salicylic serum. And we have had a number of clients, because it's not our favorite, but a lot of you guys just know in your heads, you've been trained to think salicylic acne. So we've had some clients who bought that salicylic acid for their teens or their youth and they're reporting that it works really well so they're getting great re results with the mandelic serum or the sal salicylic serum it's a gentler um, you know it's gentle it's not inflammatory and as long as they don't have follicular type acne it's going to work great for them the thing that we're finding we like to do is if we need to bump up from Neogenesis Mandelic 8%. Sometimes what we do after we've been using this for a while is we will layer the salicylic acid with it. So that way you're getting that anti-inflammatory benefit of the salicylic, but you've still got that antifungal, antibacterial activity of the Mandelic. So they really work well as a duo when you're treating acne and you want to be more gentle on your skin. Another popular Mandelic company that makes Mandelic is Bion. Bion also makes Mandelic acids. Um, they have two different strengths. Again, always start with the lower strength, um, the 8%. Um, the Bion acids are very nice at a reasonable price, and we have a lot of clients that love them. Um, a very popular item, though, is the Bion Mandelic 5% toner pads. Now, this says 5%, so a lot of people are thinking, well, but you said 8%, and 5% is not that strong, but the pH on these, and the fact that they're on a toner pad with some exfoliation, you know, the little rougher pad, these are gonna give you the equivalent of an eight plus. So many people like to pick these Mandelic pads up. Um, if you just get breakouts now and then, use these. If you're starting to get some hormonal breakouts, use them. Teens really like these because they're easy to use. Just get one out, one out and wipe. They can be used on the back. They can be used on the chest. Uh, these are super popular and handy to have around. So I definitely wanted to mention those. Now, I'm going to take questions in a few minutes. But before I go there, let's talk about your teens teenagers and treating acne or preteens and treating acne. Now, many times preteens start to get some breakouts. Oftentimes it's because they don't know how to wash their face yet. They don't know how to take care of their skin yet. And the number one thing that I do where I start with is I have them pick up, moms pick up either Bion antibacterial cleanser or bacteriostat cleanser. Bacteriostat is for that more sensitive dry skin, and then anti-bac cleanser is for that more normal to oily skin. These cleansers have amazing herbal ingredients in them that are antibacterial. 
Um, they have some salicylic acid in them. They're very gentle, but very effective. Um, many people, I mean, Celine, who normally does this show, um, she's homesick today. She uses bacteria stat as her nighttime cleanser. Um, it just gives her a little extra um, antibacterial support and it just keeps her skin clear beautifully. She's definitely now grown out of the moderate. She was a moderate. <laughs> She's now, um, you know, a really low mild. She only gets a few blemishes. Um, as long as she's using her little key products that she loves to use, she uses mandelic acid. Um, she actually uses a retinaldehyde that has mandelic acid in it. So um, that is from Rhonda Allison, and she loves to use the Bacteriostat cleanser. But these cleansers, um, they help with hormonal breakouts. They're going to help to tame those androgens in the skin. They are just an excellent one-step place to start with your teenager or preteen. I never, unless they have really severe acne, so if you have a teenager and you know that you or your husband had really bad acne growing up and your teenager's right there getting that bad acne going, get them into acne coaching right away. Even if they're a preteen and you know that that's the direction they're going because it's hereditary and it's in your family and you've dealt with it, Get them into acne coaching now so that we can help prevent all that scarring that can occur. But if the, your kid is not predisposed genetically to have all this acne, but you're seeing those breakouts and you want to get on it, this is the place to start with these cleansers. And then if you need a little bit extra, we can add a little bit of things in there. One thing we often like to add in for adults and teens is the green tea clay poultice. Green tea clay poultice helps to pull the infection out. It has ingredients in it that help prevent scarring and it helps it to heal faster. Green tea clay poultice can be applied and it's kind of a lightish green. So if you have a red blemish and you rub just a teeny tiny bit of this on during the day, it kind of tones the red down and neutralizes the red. So kids like that aspect of it. Just use a tiny bit and rub it in. Then at nighttime, put it on thicker, like a mask. You just wear it while you sleep in a thicker spot on there. The thing about green tea clay poultice is that this is not for blackheads. So if you have blackheads and you rub this onto those blackheads to try and get rid of it, it's, low, it's got salicylic acid in it, along with the clay. It's just going to harden that blackhead down tight <laughs> to your skin, and that's miserable. So, but, um, so you don't use it for that. Not good for that. Grab those glycoretinol pads or something for that. But for those inflamed blemishes that are going to turn into scars, um, could potentially turn into scars and all of that, this is your best buddy. Um, especially when you are younger and just getting going, this is really good. Now, the third thing that I would give you um, for your teens that I recommend is either using our Clear Choice sunscreen, and that's what I have all of our teen acne people using in the winter, fall months, but when spring and summer start getting here, I'm putting them on Solar X. Solar X, um, both products are waterproof, but Solar Rock, oh, so, Sol RX. it says on the container here that it's 80 minutes waterproof. And that's because that's the maximum amount of time they are allowed to put on this product. Um, it's really, in all their testing, they found it to be six to eight hours waterproof. So when you know you have kids who are gonna be sweating, playing, getting wet, and you know you're not gonna be there to reapply, they're not gonna reapply, this is what you want to get on their skin. Put it on, rub it in really well, and leave it on for a little while. Really give it time to set before you jump into the water. So if you know you're gonna be, your kids are going to the lake or the pool, put it on them while they're at home. Get it on really well, massage it in, and then let it set. And then when they're getting in the pool and doing their other activities, they're gonna be really well protected. So Solar X is my summer pick for my preteens. Actually, even my granddaughter is eight. It's hard for me to believe she's eight. <laughs> Kids grow up so fast. She's eight and she's on swim team. And this is what we're putting on her every day um, to keep her covered. So, um, 
I think now I'm ready to sit back and just take questions. You guys, shoot your questions at me. Celine's out sick today, so I'm stepping in. Uh, we've got Morgan on our mediation, so she may have already answered a lot of your questions. She is a fantastic acne expert, um, but if she had some questions she left for me, I'll take them. See what we have. Ben's going to let me know what we've got going on over here. Um, so Matthew was wondering um, if you have any mask recommendations for acne. Yeah, you bet. So it really depends on the kind of acne you have and what's going on with your acne. So we treat it differently at different times. If you have acne but your skin's getting really dry and it's really flaky, Face Reality has a soothing um, mask for you and Botnia has a soothing mask. Both of those masks are excellent anti-inflammatory, calming and smoothing and rehydrating. However, if you've, however, if you're talking about a clay mask um, or a mask that's going to help dry things up and pull things to the surface, get it cleared up faster, then you're going to want to do the soothing clay mask. So there's the Hydra Calm in Face Reality. That's for calming and hydration. Then there's the soothing clay mask is going to be really helping reduce that inflammation as well as dry up some of that stuff that's in there and help pull blackheads and, and, and debris, cellular debris to the surface. We also have several masks that I really love in Farmhouse Fresh. Um, and there's a Sorella mask that we use a lot, Sorella's Blackberry Fruit Foliant. We use that one quite often when we want to get a little extra exfoliation going on for our acne clients. And then um, Celine has done a video on it, but there are also um, many people like to once a week or once every two weeks really bump up, um, give themselves a little bit of a peel, boost that exfoliation. And that's when we pull in Lilexo's Mandelic 32 pads. Um, those are excellent as well. Um, off the top of my head, I want to say, gosh, the Farmhouse Fresh, there's like three of them that I love for acne. And I have to look up every time I'm working with you guys. I'm looking up, which one do I want? But I think there's one like a matcha, matcha green tea. Let's look it up. I'm on the website right here. Go. Let's do it together. Sometimes it doesn't work in this building. Let me turn this off. Morgan can get on there too while we're doing this and she can pipe in which one she likes from Farmhouse Fresh. Farmhouse Fresh makes amazing masks. So first I click on shop and then I go down and find masks and peels. And then I'm gonna to go to the filter and I'm gonna filter for farm, I'm gonna filter for brand and I'm gonna filter out Farmhouse Fresh. And then I'll do another filter. Let's go in here and filter preferences and hit acne safe. I love doing this. And then I'm going to go up and hit the little close button to close it. And here are my farmhouse fresh acne safe masks. There's a lot of really good things that are acne safe from farmhouse fresh. So, um, a pajama paste. That one's one that's very common that clients love. There it is, the Fresh Matcha Purity Mask. That one's really nice. Pudding Appeal is a glycolic mask that that's good for those blackheads. It's good for those people that get those pebbles. Um, Fresh Berries Supreme Gleam Raspberry Radiance Mask. That's excellent for acne. The, the Mighty C, the Mighty Brighty Vitamin C Mask is acne safe but we tend to use that more when we're seeing also some hyperpigmentation going on when the acne is mostly cleared up. Generally, we're pretty careful about putting vitamin C on the skin until you're really staying clear. Vitamin C is a big trigger of collagen, which we all want more collagen, but if you're super blemish prone, sometimes if we overstimulate that collagen production, it will stimulate breakouts. So we're careful with that. And that reminds me, there is another acid that I didn't pull out here that we do use even when you're in that mild group, 10 or less a month, it's called C2S Balancing Serum. 
and it's vitamin C, which is the L-ascorbic acid and salicylic. And that is amazing for keeping, if you have 10 or less a month, it's great for keeping the, that skin clear and it really works on lifting off that hyperpigmentation. So that's a really good, good thing for you guys to know about. So there's some mask ideas. Another question for me? Uh, yeah, Crystal was wondering if the Soul RX is good for, if it will work on black skin tones, or will it be pasty? You've done the test on this. This is why you guys need Celine here. I think it's a thicker one. I think she I know. I think that, with, yeah, I think you should stick with Clear Choice. Clear Choice is that one that you see, it. we have all kinds of funny videos on social media with clear choice where people are rubbing on, you know, these kind of white sunscreens and it's just not going away, but you put on clear choice and it just melts right in and it's gone. And it's, um, purely a block, no chemical sunscreen in there. And so I would say that probably, yeah, you're not going to like soul RX for, um, darker skin tones. You're going to want to stick with that clear choice and reapply <laughs> throughout the day. But I was just going to grab some out of here. This is a brand new one. Show you guys. I am definitely a lighter skin tone, light medium, neutral undertones. But see, it definitely, it has that whiteness to it. All the white ones, the trick with the white ones is blend it in a little more, keep rubbing. The other thing with um, these kind of um, sunscreens is it's better not to rub like this because that's just kind of, it's almost like cleanser, like how you make a cleanser foam. It almost makes the white really stand out. So when you apply this, apply it in downward strokes and just keep massaging it downward until it disappears. So it's completely disappeared on me, but um, we'll do some tests for you. We'll do some tests <laughs> and, um, and then let you know for sure if this one is going to completely disappear on black skin or not. Um, I think we got everything. We have both Madeline and Morgan answering questions. On oh, so we had lots in. of people coming in. So yeah. give me an interesting question that other people might want to hear the solution for is there um let's see um what toner would you recommend for sensitive acne prone skin i'm 26 and have cystic and inflamed acne so okay maybe protocols for cystic inflamed yeah acne. talk that's a great um topic just talking and generally about really sensitive inflamed cystic acne when you're treating um, that kind of acne, you want to use your professional strength serums. And so you want to make sure that you're using a very gentle cleanser and you're using a very gentle toner. So you could use um, Face Reality's Ultra Gentle Cleanser or Hale and Hush Quiet Wash, um, Neogenesis cleanser, just depending on how dry you are or not. Orgade cleanser could work well for you. Um, when it comes to toners, you're going to want to choose a toner that's not strong in acids. You're going to want a more nourishing toner. So Face Reality makes a moisture balance toner or the calming toner. Um, Neogenesis moisture mist, Orgade. Orgade makes an amazing toner that would be excellent for you. Um, when you're thinking about really sensitive skin and if you throw in a strong acid toner into that mix right off the bat, it's going to flare that up and make it worse. So when we're working with someone with your type of acne, we're going to start you on very gentle products like that. And then I'm going to put you on mandelic acid. I'm going to put you on Neogenesis mandelic 8% to start and then at nighttime I'm going to have you using uh, Face Reality's Acne Med and um, I highly recommend with that with the kind of acne that you have that you do our acne coaching but in general what you could do is look up on our blog you can look at the Face Reality you go to go to the, the Learn Center 
go to articles, go to skincare routines, go to face reality, and you'll see weeks one and two protocol. And that's where you want to start. It perfectly describes where I would start you at. Um, the only thing is it's gonna be using a face reality Mandelic serum, and because you're super sensitive and everything, I would probably switch that out to the Mandelic serum from Neogenesis. Um, that would be the kind of starting place where I would start with you. But in general, when you've got really inflamed, cystic acne, sensitive skin, that's when you're going to want to be Morgan's. You're going to want Morgan for a best friend. <laughs> so I highly recommend doing that acne coaching and just establishing that relationship with Morgan. And she can really help you troubleshoot and get you on the right track. Because so many things contribute to that, right? Hormones, different things in the diet, um, foods that we eat, all of that can contribute to what you have going on, that inflammation process in your face. So great question. I love that. Um, this is the last couple minutes. So if anyone has a last minute question, they want to pipe in here at the end, any questions on teens or anything acne related? Um, Tony is wondering if you have any recommendations for back knee and chest acne. Yeah, let's talk about that a little bit. Um, we have some specific shows we've just talked about. You can go back and look for those. I think it was last week we talked about that as well. Um, when you're treating acne on your chest, let's start there. You're going to use everything you use on your face, you're going to use on your chest. So you're going to use that mandelic acid You're gonna, in, during the daytime. You're going to use your acne med at night. And you're going to want to make sure that you're wearing a t-shirt when you go to bed at night because acne med just bleaches everything. So with the neck and chest, you treat them in the same strength as what you treat your face. So if you don't have breakouts on your face and you only have it on your chest, um, you can reach out to our live chat and they can help you. You're basically going to do... Um, the routine that we would do for the face, which would be weeks one and two, which I just spoke about, face reality weeks one and two, you would do that for your chest. So you want a nice gentle cleanser, you want a nice toner, then you are going to put on your Mandelic serum all over during the day, and then a sunscreen. Nighttime, you're gonna wash again, use your same gentle toner, and then you're going to use your Mandelic serum again and put on an acne med over the top and a t-shirt. Now, when it comes to the back, the back is a little trickier. And I'm also doing some generalization here, so keep that in mind. We're, when we're talking about body acne, I'm talking right now about pustules, some pimples, maybe a few blackheads, but mostly bumps and that kind of thing. So when we're treating the back, we're going to treat it um, with little stronger products. We're going to use the Mandelic. We're going to start with either Mandelic 11 or 15. The Mandelic 15 from Face Reality is only to be used on the back. I have people because, I mean, keep saying people want the strongest thing and so they buy that Mandelic 15 and want to use it on their face. It's too strong for your face. It's not meant for your face. You don't need it for the face. It's for the back. So depending on if you're more sensitive to skin, you could start with 11% on the back or you can jump right into the 15 and use the 15 on your back. Or Bion has um, a stronger, Bion's is eight, is Bion's eight and 11 or eight and 15? I think Bion's eight and 11. But that stronger Bion Mandelic Serum is pretty strong. So it'll be fine for your back. Um, the Mandelic Toner Pads also work eight really. Minutes. 8 and 15. Yep. So yeah, the 15 from Bion works great on the back. Also, toner pads work great. I even have some people who use this toner pad and put some of the 15 on the toner pad and then rub those together <laughs> on their back because the back can be really tough. And then at nighttime, you're going to, well, in general, we treat the back once a day. So you're going to put on your Mandelic solution, let it dry, and then on your back, you're gonna put your acne med on top of that. And we always start on the back with acne med 10. It's the strongest acne med. It might stimulating, stimulate a little bit of peeling on your back, but that's okay. We want it a little bit of peeliness, dries things up faster and helps it to clear up faster. So you'll put on that acne med at night, let it dry, put on your t-shirt and then go to bed. 
Now, so there's some other tips that you need to know about if you're experiencing body acne. Number one, do not use fabric softener or any kind of dryer sheets. I don't care if they're dryer sheets from the co-op or the natural food store. You cannot use any kind of dryer sheets. You can go buy wool balls. You can buy plastic balls. You can put those in your dryer, but you cannot use anything with any kind of fabric softener on them because that will cause body breakouts. Check your body lotions. Make sure your body lotions have acne safe ingredients. We have a list on our website in the Acne Learn Center that will tell you what ingredients to avoid. Hair care products, those are the worst. So if you are just getting breakouts on the back in this area, not getting on your face, you can probably keep using the hair products you have, but what you're gonna have to do is get a hair tie and after um, you rinse out your hair conditioner, because that's usually the worst cause, especially if it's that Redken one. <laughs> There's a Redken one that's just horrible. Everybody loves it. Pull your hair up in a hair tie and then wash your back again. Get that stuff off of your skin. When you sleep at night, sleep in a tassie. You can find those on our website. That tassie will keep the hair off of your face and off of your back. Um, so hair products. Oh, the other thing is Bion's, uh, Bion, not Bion, um, Biotin. <laughs> Biotin supplements are in Cliff Bars and a lot of sports drinks, um, those kind of things. Uh, protein drinks, multivitamins have biotin in them. Check those, make sure you are not getting anything with biotin in it because that will cause those hair follicles on the back and chest to break out. And then finally, the last thing is iodized salt. Just go to the grocery store and buy non-iodized salt and you know really limit the amount of foods and things that you are eating that have iodized salts so a lot of times now if you want to eat potato chips you can get potato chips that have sea salt that would be better than having um, traditional iodized salt like you would get on french fries and things like that so those are some good tips for keeping keeping that area nice and clear all right any other ones come in or are we good uh, yeah, we have a bunch, but um, Morgan, okay. Morgan got some. Morgan's not supposed to answer those ones. Those ones are for me. <laughs> <laughs> um, Pick so out a couple for me. Uh, <laughs> Morgan is the expert, but <laughs> I like piping in. I like talking. Can you guys tell? <laughs> uh, here's a good one. Do okay. you recommend Neogenesis or Face Reality for rosacea-sensitive, acne-prone, hormonal? Um, Neogenesis. Yeah. And I'm sure Morgan probably already told you that. We would probably give you um, a combination of Neogenesis, Botnia, and Orgade. Those would be, and, and in fact, you can go and find um, in the skincare routines um, under acne, you can go to the Learn Center, go to articles, go to skincare routines, and then go to Orgade, and we have a natural um, acne clearing protocol there that would actually be really good for you. And it's using some Neogenesis um, and some Orgade and Botnia, um, and it's all of Morgan's very favorite things. Morgan also has very sensitive redness prone skin, and so she's really that one who's most cautious and most excellent at working with you guys with that really sensitive skin where I tend to go in with the big guns and blast away. <laughs> and then I go to her and I say, okay, this person's more sensitive. Morgan, what should we do? So, great. Yeah, so um, a couple people are wondering about uh, pitted scarring acne treatment. Okay, so when you have pitting scarring, um, that can be really tough. To work with. There are some things that help. Um, some home microneedling can be a little bit helpful and then the retinols. So if you're at a point where you've been clear for a good year or so and you, you're you good to start adding in retinol, um, Rhonda Allison's Salicylic A is a salicylic combined with retinol. 
Um, and the reason I like that is because salicylic is so anti-inflammatory and then that retinol in there is gonna really do the good retinol work that we wanna do, but combining those two together, we, we see less eruptions um, and inflamed breakouts coming from it. So salicylic A um, on the skin can be very helpful. Um, the only thing that really works for those kind of indented scarring is to go in and have professional level microneedling done. Um, generally the facilities that do that are doctors who remove tattoos. Um, there's a, a removal of tattoo, tattoos where they do needling and those doctors often also treat, do that kind of needling for acne scarring. I've seen beautiful results with that. Lasers, don't let them fool you. The lasers aren't going to do the trick. <laughs> so as far as anything that you could do at home, it's going to be doing some light peels on yourself using the MA32 pads and then using, layering that um, salicylic A over that. Um, and then otherwise it's reaching out and finding someone in your area that does that kind of microneedling with the larger needles. But you, it's going to be very painful, so you want them to be able to numb the area, and it's not something you want to do at home. You don't want to go on eBay and buy a one <laughs> needle and do that because you're going to scar yourself. It needs to be done precisely and by an expert. I can't tell you how many people reach out to me after doing that to themselves and scarring themselves. So um, really use caution and choose wisely. Ask people to see you know, testimonials and before and after pictures to make sure that you're working with somebody who knows what they're doing. Um, and a good one to end on, I think, Yes. Um, for the sunny season. Um, okay. People are wondering about combining different brands of sunscreen throughout the day. People were also wondering about spray sunscreens uh -huh. or maybe just a convenient way to reapply throughout the, throughout the day. Absolutely. Yeah. So um, you can um, layer different types of sunscreens. I even do it when I'm in Hawaii. I put on two to three layers of sunscreen before I go out. <laughs> So I'm loving the dew drops, you know, and I'm using my Extreme Protect or I'm using my Solar X. And then what I'm carrying with me to reapply during the day is the brush on block. Brush on block, um, or there's also a brush on one from Is Clinical. What's it called? Skin Perfect? Perfect Tint. Perfect Tint. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Perfect Tint from Is Clinical or the Brush On Block, either one of those you can brush on and reapply throughout the day and it's beautiful. It doesn't mess up your makeup or anything else and wears beautifully. So that's what I recommend for touching up during the day. Yeah, we will be having, I know it's on our calendar. We've got some shows coming up where Celine is our sunscreen expert. I know she has a whole show planned for you guys where she's going to show you every sunscreen we have and what they do and who loves them and what. So um, watch out for that. That's going to be a lot of fun. It's coming up soon. Okay, that is a good place to end on. Thank you so much for joining us today, everyone. Celine will be back next week. And I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your